so easy. I'm kidding. What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I went from looking like this to this. Now, I'm going to share all of my secrets, how I grew my booty, my lower body, without any shortcuts and just naturally. All right, so let's get to it. I have always had a very slender lower body and I have been quite conscious about it. Then I started to post fitness content on Instagram and I immediately realized that I cannot go on without, you know, building a booty because that is the most precious and worthy asset that female fitness Instagrammers have, right? Apart from looking super attractive, a full around booty and a stronger lower body can actually be really, really beneficial for you. It will help you with your posture, it will give you overall strength, it will even strengthen your spine. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my best tips and also a few mistakes that I made throughout the journey. In all right, so the first tip is that I personally started seeing tremendous growth in my lower body as soon as I started focusing on volume based workouts, which means that you need to focus more on getting more number of reps as opposed to how much weight you're lifting. So one rep max approach will probably not work here because that will focus on strengthening your muscles, then growing it. So if you wanna focus on growing your muscles, then please make sure that you are doing volume-based workouts. Increase the number of repetitions at least to eight to 15 reps per set. So you can load up a weight that is not super heavy for you, a weight that you are comfortable with to do at least eight to 15 reps. So do not do swinging reps, do not do half reps, do not compromise on form when you are doing volume based training. So another important thing is that if you are trying to target a muscle and you are work on it and you want to grow it, then you have to make sure that you are training that muscle more than once a week. So I started doing leg days twice a week, so I started splitting my leg workouts into quads and glutes one day and hamstrings and calves one day. So I started focusing on doing 5 to 6 variations, 3 sets each and 8 to 15 reps for each set. Okay, another important thing is that please make sure that you focus on increasing the time under tension. So what do I mean by that is that whenever you're performing a set, for example, if you're doing a squat, make sure that you focus on the eccentric, like go down slow, pause if you can, and then come back up slow. Uh, it doesn't matter how much weight you're lifting, just be comfortable enough with the weight you're lifting, but focus on increasing the time under tension, focus on making a mind-muscle connect. And to be able to do that, you have to make sure that you are not bringing your ego with you to the gym. So whenever you are coming to the gym, pack your ego in a bag and throw it in the dustbin. Do not bring it with yourself to the gym. Nobody is looking at you. You do not have to prove anything to anyone. You just have to work on yourself. You have to strengthen yourself. Focus on doing that and do not waste your time by doing ego lifts. Okay, next and very, very important thing. See this plate right here? This is balance. Please remind yourself to eat food and eat food smartly. You cannot eliminate any macronutrients or micronutrients from your diet and expect to grow muscles. That's not how our body works. You have to fuel your body. So I am not eliminating carbs, I'm not eliminating veggies, I'm not eliminating protein, I'm not eliminating healthy fats. You have to train yourself to eat. If you're finding it very, very hard to build muscles or you know grow even if you are eating then try to eat about 200 calories in surplus so you can calculate your bmr and then you can try eating about 200 calories in surplus in the first few weeks of you trying to build muscles okay so i just want to touch base on, on the previous point just, that i just made i told you guys to try eating in a surplus if you're finding hard to build muscles and that's a very popular opinion out there but the thing is that I gained a lot of fat when I did that. I did a little bit of research and you know what? You do not need to eat in a surplus to build muscles. Bulking is one thing. I mean, bodybuilders do that all the time. But for average people like you and me, we don't need to eat in a surplus, like crazy surplus like that because I was eating about 500 calories in surplus on some days. But here's the thing. If you're eating about 300 calories in surplus, that can lead to a pound of body fat in two weeks. So if you add that up, in a month, you can gain about a kg of fat. That doesn't sound like music to my ears. I don't want to gain fat. 
in an urge to gain muscles and that is not the idea actually so why i told you to try it in the first few weeks was because be very careful monitor it every single week if i could go back in time and i could fix one thing that's what i would have done i would have monitored my vitals my fat percent my muscle mass and all of that every single week i didn't do that and so if you want to eat in a surplus by all means do that but please monitor it every week and if you see that your fat percent is going up and your muscle mass is not going up all that much then i think you can go a little slow on the surplus you can eat in a maintenance and you can still build muscles yes it's going to take time but it's going to be sustainable and you will not become anxious because of that be patient with it you know because it's not going to happen overnight it's going to take time i mean it will not like it but it can take you years to build muscles it's not that easy and it need not be easy because the results are going to be so amazing and it's going to stay with you forever so yeah that's it for today's video from my side i hope this video helped you guys and you did get some kind of help from this video if you did give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye